Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 2. We are going to see instruction and instruction sequencing. In last class we have seen what are the different types of instructions and what are different types of instruction formats. And today we are going to see how these instructions are getting executed. And we are going to see about instruction sequencing. Okay. So before starting instruction sequencing, I would like to refresh the instruction execution part again. Uh, we have already seen this uh, concept in previous videos that is basic operational concept. I will just refresh the, that once again. Right. For any instruction to be executed, it has four different phases. First, first one is fetch, decode, execute and store. First it has to fetch the instruction and then it has to decode the instruction. And then it has to execute the instruction and after executing it has to store the result. Right, this is the normal operation for any instruction. Okay, this is the normal instruction cycle. Right, and we already see what is the basic operational concepts in computer. Right, how the computer execute the instructions. Right, so I'll just refresh that again. We already know computer execute the instruction based upon the programs which are stored in the memory. Right, so in memory, you will have the list of instructions, the programs which is stored, right? And this program is executed by the processor, okay? And we already seen what are the steps involved in executing these instructions, right? Through processor. Uh, that is, we have seen processor will have different types of registers. That is MAR, MDR, PC, and IR. See, if you don't understand this concept, yet maybe in the video, we will put a basic operational concept. So, the video part it and then Cut to this particular video so that you can easily understand. Okay. I'm just doing a quick refresh of this particular topic. Okay. So, in order to execute this instruction, any processor, if, if you want to execute one particular operation or one particular instruction, what it has to do is first it has to fetch that information, that instruction from the memory. Right. First, the memory is the instruction processor. Correct. Right, and then the processor, what it will do is it will decode that instruction and it will perform a lot of operations. Right, other in the registers, you use puny allow operations to so Correct? Right, what MAR will do is first you have to know what is P PC and what is IR. PC is nothing but program counter which will hold the instructions of the next instruction. At the end of the instruction, the computer execute and the information in the program counter. Right, and then what is IR? IR is instruction register. That is, it will hold the information of current instruction. Right? If any instruction execute IR, the information will come in IR. Right? So, whenever the PC sets one particular instruction, right? Or instruction on the PC will come in, that is the first step to run that particular instruction. Right? From PC, what it will do is in memory address register. Right? Memory address register, what it will do? It will fetch that instruction, right? And the instruction or address location in the memory it will send to the processor that is MDR is sent point, right? So whatever instruction that is in PC, it will be fetched through MAR through MDR, right? And once the instruction reaches the MDR, what it will do is it will send to the IR. IR is nothing but instruction register. That is the one which will perform the current execution of the instruction, right? If you have instruction execute, you will have information IR. Right? So, IR is one of the current instruction execute. Right? And in meanwhile, like once it reaches the IR, it will decode the instruction. Right? And the instruction is NR. That is, if it has add instruction, add, delay comma B. In the money, the instruction is eventually it will decode it. While decoding it, if it finds out any information needed, for example, while decoding in the processor, understand that it needs add. That is, it has to send that information to ALU, right? And also, it will need the values of A and D, right? So, it will get that information from memory, right? And it will give the information to ALU. And ALU will perform the operation and it will store and it will give the result to the processor, right? And now, what the processor will do? The processor, either it will send the result to the output device or if you want to store the information, once again it will send to MAR, right? It will initiate the write cycle and it will store the information in that particular memory, right? Result. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So the processor, what it will do is, it will send the result along with the address location, right? So what MAR will do, it will store the result in the given address location, right? So this is the basic operational concept we have seen, correct? So using this basic operation concept only, you can understand instruction sequencing, okay? So before seeing instruction sequencing, now you understand in order to execute the instruction cycle, you need four different phases. One is fetch, decode, execute, right? And this is done continuously by the CPU, right? Right from your uh, computer booting up till the computer is shut down, right? If this process will be com continuously performing this particular uh, cycle, right? Your CPU will perform this particular cycle, right? It will fetch the instruction, decode the instruction, and it will read the effective address, right? I'll say what is that, okay? And then it will execute the instruction, okay? Right, now, you know what is fetch instruction? Fetch the instruction is nothing but whenever the processor needs to run or need to perform in any particular operation, first it has to fetch that instruction from the memory, right? So whenever the program counter is having an instruction, that instruction will be sent to the memory, right? And that is done in, so that is sent to the processor. All right, that is done and fetch the instruction, okay? And once the instruction is fetched, right, and it starts executing, the program counter will automatically increment it to the next instruction, okay? And decode the instruction is nothing but as soon as the processor, right, as soon as the processor gets that instruction, what it will do is, it will send to the IR, because IR is the place where it will decode that instruction, right? An instruction, any instruction, that will decode one thing, I mean, IR will not go, right? And while it is decoding, it will understand what is the information that is needed, right? That will be operant there, yeah, right? That will address in here again, exactly, right? And then what operation needed, right? And if there is indirect addressing, indirect addressing use for it, I mean, and the address may be going to bring operant in here, you have to find out the Effective address. Effective address. Right? So, all those done in the execution phase. Right? So, after decoding, it will understand where the address is. Right? And where the operand is. Right? And then, it will execute that particular instruction. Okay? If it needs any data, it will collect all the information. And then, it executes the instruction. Correct? And after executing... The processor has two, two things. One is it can store it in main memory or it can send to the output device, right? So if it wants to send the output device, it directly sends to the output device, okay? And if it wants to store the result, what it will do is it will give the address location. It will give the address location and then it will give the result, okay? So now, once again, what it will do is send to the MAR. And now MAR, what it will do is it store this result in the given address. Right, and this cycle is repeated. This is called instruction cycle. Okay, and we are going to see about instruction sequencing. Okay, so instruction sequencing, first thing, first operation is straight line sequencing. So straight line sequencing, na sir. Right, we have always said, like we have already know what is byte address, correct? Byte addressable. Byte addressable na yana din sona. For example, if it is a 32 bit. Then it will be done, and then it will be done, and then it will be done, I, I plus 4, I plus 8, right, and I plus 12 in the morning, 4, 4, that is a 4 byte address, right, so I will be done, 4, 4, in the instruction, that is, one instruction is done, I will be done, next instruction is done, I plus 4 will be done, and other instruction is done, I plus 8 will be done, you have to understand that, right, so program is a set of instructions, right, so any particular program, Right. If you take any particular program, you have a list of instructions. Correct? So, that is first instruction on the I layer go, other instruction on the I plus 4 layer go, and then other instruction I plus 8 layer go. Right. And whenever the processor performs the execution, what it will do first, it will remove this instruction from I and it will execute it. Right. And then it will execute, it will remove this I plus 1, I plus 4 and execute it. And then this instruction. Like that. It will, it will execute one by one, right? This process of executing one by one, right? That is called as straight line sequencing, right? Memory layer instruction, one by one access button, one by one execute button, straight line sequencing. You understand, right? Now, you understand that if overall process is not going to be Right. First, on the PC, the instruction, memory, 
right pc la load on instruction it will send the processor to memory right and then processor la enga vandirukum appdi paathina ir ku vandirukum and ir is the one where it will start executing it correct right so we can overall divide this process into two phases one is instruction fetch phase right what is instruction fetch phase for example if you have this instruction add add a comma b right you have this instruction in the instruction in the pc la appadina first instruction fetch phase la nadakkum appadina in the instruction pc la irundhu it will send to the processor and processor what it will do is it will send that information to the ir because ir is the one which performs the current execution which holds the information on the current instruction which is executing correct so in the complete process pc la irundhu processor vandu processor la ir ku vara process peru adha enna phase nu solrom appadina it is called as instruction fetch phase right instruction fetch phase pc la irundhu processor information vaangi adha ir ku information send pannudhu right and next phase is instruction execute phase what is instruction execute phase ir la enna panna solirukke ir it will decode the instruction correct so ir it will start decoding the instruction and after decoding what it will do is if it needs any data it will collect that and then it performs the operation correct so decoding the operation right that is after ir receive that instruction what it will do is it will decode right and then execute that particular phase is called as instruction execution phase okay and you can also split this instruction execution phase again by 3 yeah i mean pathinga i add a comma b you mean the instruction vandirchi appdi pathinga ir ku what ir will do it will decode first it decode pannudhu right ah decode pannana artho right it understand that it needs an arithmetic operation so adha vandu processor nu solli a a ku move avum right and it needs a and as well as b data a data venum b operand venum a in operand ku enna value b in operand ku enna value theriyum right ah so what it will do is once again it will fetch that instruction right like that so if that any data is needed what it will do it will first fetch that instruction right and once again it will read that instruction and once again it will execute that instruction correct fetch பண்ணிட்டு அத எக்ஸிக்யூட் பண்ணிட்டு once again என்ன பண்ணுவோம் அந்த ரிசல்ட்ட ஸ்டோர் பண்ணுவோம் ரைட்டா எக்ஸிக்யூட் ஃபேஸ் ஏ என்ன பண்ணனும் 3 ஆப் இருக்கலாம் ரைட்டா சோ இனி நவ யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் ட்ரூ ஃபேஸ் இன் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிங் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ரைட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஃபெச் ஃபேஸ் தட் இஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஸ்டார்டிங் फ्रॉम பிசி இட் ரீச்சஸ் தி ஐஆர் தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड அஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஃபெச் ஃபேஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் ஃபேஸ் தட் வாட் எவர் தி ஆபரேஷன் விச் பெர்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் இட் ரீச்சஸ் தி ஐஆர் தட் இஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் ஃபேஸ் ஓகே now we will see in a good example for straight line sequencing okay straight line sequencing i am taking the same instruction here that is the instruction enna solra appdi paathinga appadina c a plus b right that is you got to add the content of a and b and you have to save it in c okay so i am going to write the program a program for this particular operation c is equal to a plus b right now i will explain what is straight line sequencing nalla nonne okay so now it is a byte addressable use pandrom byte addressable use pandrom appadina right so in the instruction eppadi pannala first a register la enna pandra paarenga move a to r not i am moving the content a to r not and b enna pandra right i am adding the b to r not p a r not a vandha enna pannirukken i am moving it to r not correct now r not will have a information by right? the information of a is stored in r not now what i am going to do is i am directly add b with this r not correct yena r not la irukna enna irukke a oda information irukke so you can see here add b to r not right and then what i have to do i have performed this particular operation now i have to store the information in c correct so now what i am doing i am moving the information which is in r not to c correct so by the program in the a plus b and the result is stored in c idha vandu moonu instruction ah namba eludalam right and this is one particular program which has three instructions okay right? moving a to r not b to r not sorry adding b to r not and then moving r not to c right and very importantly you want to understand right this particular instruction first what processor will do it will do it will execute this particular instruction right what it will do it will move the content of a to r not right adu mudichadukku appuram da adutha da enna pannum in the instruction go what it will do it will add r not plus b right and then what it will do add b to r not now enna arthu appdi pathina it will store it will add b with r not and store the information in r not munadi class la nam paathirukom right ah 
and B comma R not source and destination here source is B and destination is R not so what it will do it will add B and R not and save it in R not correct right and now what it will do R not will the C can move on now here you see the information is stored on correct right so if one by one instruction is that what I see it on the solar ma this process of executing instruction one by one is called as straight line sequencing right and you got to understand how was that this instruction can be fetched instruction can be set fetch for no abin pathinga abina you can see here each and every instruction will be stored in a is considered as a word or or word every byte address mula na solirga if it is that it will be addressable abina right it will start with i and then it's i plus 4 and then i plus e right and then i plus 12 கண்டிப்பா இந்த